guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, it's morning. Um, I've had a rough few days. Um, we had to uh, um, euthanize one of our kitty cats, and it was Buster. Um, many of you know Buster. He's my little black kitty cat, and um, it's been difficult. Um, Within two weeks' time, we lost him. We found out he was uh, full of cancer, and uh, we didn't want him to suffer. So um, he's in crossed what they call a rainbow bridge or whatever. And so I've been, um, yeah, fighting depression. <laughs> That's the easiest way to put it. Um, but I want to bring this chapter to you guys today. Um, this is chapter 16, and this is, of course, my story. Um, first things first, the young lady that won this book in the last video, I never heard from. So this video, I've got two of these books that I'm going to give away. Uh, so, you know, put a comment down below. And what I'd like you to do in the comment is um, we're going to talk about a subject today that everybody has to deal with, and that's called housework. So we're going to talk about that today. And in the comments below, um, leave, a, leave a comment for somebody else, you know, a tip or a trick. How do you get something accomplished um, within your, um, your restrictions? How do you get a piece of your housework accomplished, okay? So put that in the comments below, and I'm just going to randomly pick two winners. And you're going to receive a copy of this, um, which is You Are Stronger Than You Know, Words of Hope and Encouragement for Someone Living with Chronic Illness, and it's a Blue Mountain Arts collection. Like I said, I will have two this month um, to give away this video. So the first thing... Sorry about that. My husband's downstairs, and I don't know what he's doing. Sawing something. I hope you guys can't hear that. If you do, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's actually two different chapters. I really hope you can't hear that. There's two different chapters that I'm going to read today. Um, and this first one, you know, it's funny because uh, I read this one and it just really applies to me at this point because, you know, I'm having a really hard time, difficult time um, with uh, losing Buster. So... Um, it says, draw strength from yourself and your surroundings. When the challenges seem so much greater than your strength, you may wonder how you will get through this day or even this hour. Hold on just a minute. All right, sorry about that. Let's start again. Um, it says, draw strength from yourself and your surroundings. When the challenges seem so much greater than your strength, you may wonder how you will get through this day or even this hour. At times like these, you will need to look back to past trials and tribulations that you have gone through and survived. Remember them? The same strength that enabled you to get through those earlier storms is still within you. Reach down deep and draw this from this wellspring. Allow it to replenish your soul. Borrow strength from others, those warriors who have already fought and won the battles you are struggling with today. Rejoice in their victories. They are with you in spirit. Draw strength from those who are with you in the battle today, for none of us truly walk alone. Draw strength from the good times, good things in your life, from the simplest to the greatest. Whether it's a pretty little flower, a kind word from a friend, a walk in your favorite place, or a beautiful sunset. Draw strength from anything good that touches your heart or your day. Draw strength from those who love you, those who make your life richer by being a part of your days, those who will be there for you not only on sunny days but also on the cloudy ones, and those who will hold you in the storms of life. Have faith in yourself. Draw strength from your faith and know in your heart that just as before, this time will pass because you have strength for today. And this is written by Nancy Sims. And that just, that one spoke to me today, so, um, this is chapter 16. And then the second one, um, this is more pertaining to today's subject. The first one, I just, I read it, and it, and it just touched something in me, um, with the whole dealing with depression and buster issue, so, um, but this one is more about, um, 
what we're doing today when we're talking about housework, okay? And this one says, just do your best. It's not always easy to know which path to follow, which decision to make, or what to do. Life is a series of new horizons, new hopes, new days, and changes that come to you. And we all need some help with these things from time to time. Be positive, for your attitude will affect the outcome of many things. Ask for help when you need it. Seek the wisdom the world holds and hold on to it. Make some progress every single day. Begin, believe, and become. Give yourself all the credit you're due. Don't shortchange your qualities, your abilities, or any of the things that are so unique about you. Remember how precious life can be. Imagine. Invest the time it takes to reach out for your dreams. It will bring you happiness that no money on earth can buy. Don't be afraid to go through life at your own pace. What's the best thing to do? That's simple. Do your best and everything else will fall into place. And this is written by Colin McCarty. Now when we talk about doing your best um, and housework, <laughs> let's just say that um, years and years ago, um, my house um, was always pretty much spotless. Um, I, you can ask my boys, they hated it because every Saturday it was clean the house from top to bottom, which meant mopping and dusting and vacuuming and, and, and putting everything away and doing all the laundry and da 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 right? Well, guess what? That doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's been very, very difficult to go from having my house the way I like it, um, to what it is now which by no means my house is not filthy it still gets cleaned but it just doesn't get that deep cleaning like I really want it to get so what we're going to do today uh first thing I'm going to do is find some paints figure out what colors I'm going to go with today uh we're going to use this first page and I'm going to use this pocket here um and let's talk about housework so let me grab some supplies and I'll be right back with you Alright, so I've got a piece of, this is just um, a piece of packing paper that I had laid down somewhere on something that I'm going to use today. And um, just grabbing some pieces off it, nothing crazy, just whatever. Whatever! That works, I don't need a whole lot. So housework, oh yeah, that dreaded subject, huh? Well, I ended up with my housework. Um, I don't want that one, different one. Oh my, a palette knot. Going to mama. Let's take you. Um, like I said, my my whole house has completely changed when it comes to the housework. Um, we have what's called a rainbow. I don't know if anybody's familiar with it, but let me tell you, it's one of the best vacuum cleaners I have ever had in my entire life. And yes, they're expensive. They're very expensive. But when we bought it, um, we bought it as an investment um, into our home. And let me tell you, I, d I wouldn't be without one. I absolutely love my rainbow. Um, it's, it's basically um, water. It's a container of water. And when you clean, everything that you pick up goes into that container of water. And it's just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, think about it. It's full of water, which means what? It's heavy, which means what? Cindy can't lift it. <laughs> so, and besides that, not even just having the water, the fact that um, vacuuming is one of the worst things you can do on your back one of the very worst things you can do. So if and when I try to vacuum, I end up in an extreme amount of pain. So that's a no-no. So Cindy doesn't do that anymore. So what we've done is, thank God for my husband. I, You know, you guys know I'm very, very lucky to have the support that I have. Um, he is wonderful. He will actually do the, um, the whole rainbow vacuuming when I get to the point where I'm like it's got to be done I can't I can't take it anymore you know like when you have cobwebs up underneath your 
kitchen cabinets and that kind of stuff. I just, ugh, it drives me crazy. But anyways, um, so he does that. Now, in the meantime, you know, we don't do that like we used to every week. Um, we really don't have, you know, we don't have a dog. We have, well, now we have one cat. You know, we get the cat hair up, that kind of stuff. But, um, so we don't do it every day or every week like we used to. All right, so in the meantime, what I do is I have this little, I want to say it's a Bissell, but I'm not positive. It's a real tiny um, little vacuum cleaner. It's, it's just a tall thing, and it's got this little bar on it, and it's really light. So every now and then I'll, I'll bring that out. If I'm seeing something that's driving me crazy, I will bring that out and just um, vacuum up, you know, what I see that I don't like. Um, that helps. It's not a perfect clean, but it does help. All right. Um, so that's the whole vacuuming issue. Now, there's a lot of other issues <laughs> for the housework. Okay. Um, let me just give you a simple one. Doing the dishes. All right. Um, doing the dishes hurts. If you think about how you stand at that sink, you stand and your back is like bent. And that's not fun. It's definitely not fun. So what we'll do is a lot of times um, during the day, and I'm going to put this in with doing the dishes, which is uh, making dinner. It's not housework, but, you know, it's part of the house. Um, what I will do is throughout the day as I make dinner, which... That's another issue. You can't make dinner all at once. I can't spend 45 minutes standing in front of the, the stove or whatever. So I have to do it in um, in spurts. So like I'll make a salad in the morning. Um, I'll wash up the stuff that I used. Then later on I'll make meatloaf and I'll wash up the stuff that I used. Um, things like that. It's all like a step. You have to go through this step process to make it all work. Um, let's get back to house cleaning. Ah, uh, let me dry this really quick and then I'm going to throw some paint down. I'll be right back. Alright, so here's the paint that I'm going to use. Um, I got these at Michael's, I think. And I just bought a few of the colors. I only have like four more colors. I just, I, I wanted to try them and see how they work. And they're actually a pretty good paint. Um, I'm going to put a little bit on my palette over here. Ooh, that's a lot of yellow. Okay, I don't need that one again. Actually, this color was, yep, Dairy Lead Yellow. This is a Prussian Blue. Uh, warning, a lot comes out. Um, this one is a Green Gold. Don't need a whole lot. I just want to play around with some of these colors. And this is a Cobalt Teal Hue. All right, so I'm just gonna play around with this. Maybe some stencils. Let's throw some stencils here. We'll see. Let's get some color down first. All right, so back to um, the housework. What I have learned to do is everything has to be done in moderation, okay? So yeah, I would love to go through my house top to bottom, um, you know, walls, ceilings, floors, get it all cleaned up. That's not gonna happen. Um, I physically cannot do that. So what we do is I basically, I make myself like a schedule. It, it's not really written down anywhere. It's just in my head. And for example, I'll take Monday, um, you know, I know I have to go clean the bathrooms. All right. So now when I say clean the bathrooms, I mean the actual John. I'll clean the John, get both of them cleaned up. Everything's good. Now, when it comes to cleaning the showers, um, what I end up doing is I end up going in, uh, cleaning and then taking a shower while I'm in there. And it, I just find that it's easier for me to do that because I do all of that, um, bending over and, and cleaning everything. And then I can just stand there and let the hot water just mess around with my back for a bit and, you know, relax. So it's learning how much your body can do and how you can get it done. Uh, is it easy? No. I will never say it's easy. Every time I do something like that, I normally hurt from doing it. But you know what? It's okay. And the reason it's okay is because I know what's going to happen. I know it's going to hurt. 
but you know what? I a lot for that. So if I know I'm going to be going into um, clean the bathrooms and the day before I decide I want to go shopping or I need to go get groceries or whatever I don't do it that next day um, a lot of it is scheduling you have to schedule out um, same as you do you know you know you don't go to two different doctors on the same day because you can't you can't handle that much movement or whatever the case may be and it's the same with working in your home um, by by scheduling it or by working it or by understanding that you know your body is going to hurt, you know what causes more pain and what is easier to do, then you work on it that way. And, and it's the, the only thing I can say is, it, is it's in moderation. Um, is it perfect? Absolutely not. I couldn't tell you the last time I dusted. I hate dusting to begin with. But, you know, it's okay because... I know I can only do so much. My husband knows I can only do so much. And I do, as just like that article said, the best I can. I do the best I can. And you know what? That's all I can do. I can't pretend to be or pretend to do something that my body doesn't want me to do. It's not going to happen. So I just, I do the best I can when I can do it. Does that mean I've given up some things as far as cleanliness? Yeah, it does. Um, every now and then I'll be laying on the couch and I see this cobweb and I'm like, Argh! it drives me crazy. But what can I do about it? What is it hurt? Does it hurt to leave that cobweb there? No, it doesn't. I tell my hubs about it when he gets home. I'm like, hey, you got to get that down from there. He's like, okay, so he'll take care of it. But, you know, it's, it's all about moderation. It's about scheduling. It's about knowing your limits. It's about, I like how this has turned out. It's just kind of ooky, whatever. Um, <laughs> it's about knowing how much your body can handle. It's about understanding what your body can handle. And it's about knowing when enough is enough. Okay. Um, have I went through my house and cleaned like a wildfire? Yeah, I've done it. And let me tell you, for the next two days, I can't move. Is that where I want to be every day of my life? Absolutely not. I hate it. So I have learned that everything is in moderation. Just because I don't get it done today doesn't mean I might not be able to get it done tomorrow. Um, if I can't get it done tomorrow, that's okay. There's always the next day. So I try my best to work within my limits, within my restrictions, and do what I can when I can. And that's really that's all we can do right so um, again it's about that moderation it's about knowing what your body can handle and what it can't I just feel like playing in paint sorry guys I'm playing um, you know and, and it's all about doing things simpler okay for example the vacuum cleaner I can't use our rainbow but I can use the small Bissell. It works. It's not the greatest. It's not, you know, I think it costs us 20 bucks to buy it, but it's light. I can, you know, move it from room to room should I need to. Um, so it's about adapting, adapting your restrictions to your housework or your housework to your restrictions, I should say. Um, let's see, what else? Mopping floors. Okay. I used to, once a week, get out the old mop bucket and do the whole, you know, through every floor that needed mop, yada, yada, yada. That doesn't happen anymore. Now what I end up doing is I have one of those Swiffers. I think that's what they call them. And I basically get the main, the main part of what I can get until my hubs gets home. And, you know, then I'm like, if it gets really bad, I'll say to him, you know, we really need to mop this. Okay. And he mops it for me. So now you may not have that that support at home. And if you don't, I'm really sorry because it is a huge, huge help to have him around. Um, if you don't, you know, sometimes you just, you have to say, it's okay. You know what? I'll clean up the, the, the spill, but the rest is just going to have to stay until another day when I feel better and I feel like I can actually um, do that work. I'm going to dry this up and then we're going to come back and I'm going to just play around drying a little bit and uh, we'll be right back. 
All right, guys, I'm not much of a drawer, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the little brush that'll work. This is just white gesso, and what I want to do is I just want to kind of play around. I'm going to have a broom. So, um, all right, so let's just real quick. The first one thing we're going to do is we are going to... Um, set up a schedule and when I say a schedule that doesn't mean oh my god every Tuesday morning I have to do this and I hurt so bad no that's not how we set up a schedule we look at um, you know normally on Mondays I like I said I clean the bathrooms on Tuesdays um, you know I may decide to change the sheets on the bed um, you know things like that and and what I do is I do them sporadically I don't want that's not the right word more you know uh, it's not sporadically it's on a schedule um, I may do them during the day you know each Tuesday or every other Tuesday I'll do this or every other Monday I'll do that and again it all depends on the pain it really does because you never know um, you know I may wake up in a in a fibro flare and if I wake up in a fibro flare, there's no way my arms are going to be moving to do the scrubbing in the bathrooms. It's not going to happen. So what do I do? Put it off until the next week or put it off till you know, the, the fibro flare is over. It, you just, you have to learn that it's okay to do that. Um, you know, it, would I like to have a, my house the way it used to be? I'd love it. I would be very happy to see my home. I'm actually trying to make a bucket here. Does that look like a bucket? <laughs> I'm just having fun with the gesso right now. Um, you know, would I like to have my home cleaner? Yeah, I would. Um, is it filthy? No, it's not. Um, am I ashamed to have anybody come in? Absolutely not. And, you know, that's another thing. That's another aspect of house cleaning, okay? If you are ashamed to let your friends come in, then you know what? They aren't real friends. Because I'll be very honest with you, my one girlfriend, she comes in, she's like, what can I do for you? What can I do? Do you want me to do this? Do you want me? I mean, that girl would clean my house from top to bottom if I ask her to. I won't ask her to because I just, I don't do that. But, um, you know, don't be, don't be ashamed of your own physical body and your own restrictions it's okay you're gonna do the best you can do and if people don't understand that then you know that's their issue that's not your issue okay <laughs> that looks funny all right I'm gonna dry this up real quick and I'll be right back all right so I've got my mop bucket here and I don't know what that is I think a broom um, and now I just want to paint them. Now that I find my paintbrush again. Do, do, do. Let's bring that over here. So, like I said, when we're talking about um, doing the housework, a lot of it is, you know, work within your restrictions, work within your schedule. Um, don't worry about what anybody else thinks. Um, you just, you need to work in your own, on your own, in your own. Do what you can do, when you can do it, and, you know, the rest is just got to be left. And it's okay. It really is. It's okay. I'm not sure why I painted my broom blue, but I just did. I wanted to paint the bucket blue. Oh, well. We now have a blue broom. Let me take get rid of some of that blue. And I'll just again, this is all just fun. This is a great way for me to play and just let's take um, let's take some of this blue turquoise. We're gonna have a turquoise. See, we have a pretty broom. We have a blue broom with a turquoise handle. How's that? <laughs> it works works for me so instead of trying to get up you know every Monday morning and going through your entire house from top to bottom 
um, you just you got you've got to do it in moderation. You've got to work it in moderation. You can't expect to be and to do the things that you did prior your chronic pain or prior your injury. Um, it doesn't work, and I'm sure you guys have all figured that out by now. It doesn't work. It causes more pain, and it's just not worth it. So take your time um, when you're trying to figure out, you know, what you're going to do as far as, um, you know, your housework, uh, laundry. Um, just a couple things that I've done, or my husband, I should say my husband's done for me, is um, my laundry is now up. First of all, it's up off the floor, um, and it's up out of the basement. He actually built a small laundry room in one of our other rooms here in the house, and now my laundry is upstairs. My washer and dryer are both up on pedestals because you can't bend over and take stuff in and out of a washer and dryer when you have a back injury. Um, and then my baskets are up off the floor. I have some, uh, it's like end tables that we had at one time in our living room that our baskets sit on. And as long as they're up off the floor, then I'm able to sort them, I'm able to do some laundry. Um, and it's not far from our bedroom, so I can just walk the stuff in, put it on my bed, and fold it. So you have to learn what is best for you and what is best for your restriction. Um, how can you make your jobs as a housewife, housekeeper, how can you make it easier for yourself? And it, it takes some thinking and it takes some doing. And you guys know I'm a big proponent of not saying I can't do this. Um, you can do this. You just have to figure out a different way to do this. So just because, you know, maybe you can't afford to put your your um, washer and dryer up on pedestals, okay? I think they're like 250 bucks a piece, so they're not cheap. So instead of lifting your washer and dryer up, how can you um, help? How can Maybe your husband can build them out of wood. Um, maybe, you know, you can have one of your kids, okay, you know, here's the laundry, I've sorted it, can you throw this in the washer, throw this in the dryer? Find other ways to do those activities, find other ways to um, accomplish what you wanted to accomplish before, but remember, you don't have to do it all at once. Um, you do have to uh, space things out. I cannot go through my house from top to bottom, clean all the bathrooms, change the sheets, yada, yada. I can't do that anymore. So I have to do it step by step on a schedule and just slowly work at it. And that's the way you're going to accomplish the things that you used to be able to accomplish within a day. Is it going to take longer? Yes. Does it get annoying? Yes. But you know what? It's all part of living with chronic pain. Let me dry this up and I'll be right back. All right, so this is pretty well dry. Um, I've got some of these here. These are just pieces of watercolor paper. Actually, they're scraps that I had um, stuck in a drawer. And the other night when I was watching a movie, I decided to just doodle with them. So um, what I'm going to do is I want to put... There's two... Some of them are little. These are all just, like I said, they're scraps that I doodled on and just had fun playing with, you know, whatever. Um, doesn't work. Yeah. I'm going to write some stuff on these. Oh, here's a house. <laughs> Sit it on the bucket. Uh, huh, kind of like that house there. We'll see. All right, so what I'm going to do with these, um, this is just a pilot pen that I've actually taken some ink. This ink, um, Liquitex um, acrylic ink in carbon black that I've put in this pen. And all right, so I'm going to put this as my, maybe, come on. Come on, I know you can work. You just worked the other day. There we go. Come on. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to put this as my tips. And you know what? I don't like this black on here. I think I'm going to get a white pen. Let's get a white pen. 
Here's my white Uniball Signo. I'm gonna let that dry. All right, and this is wow. Today's not my day for pens, is it? Yep, my pens are not working today. Oh, what is it? Try one of these. There we go. I think this one's almost empty. All right, hold on, I gotta find a pen that writes. All right, so after some fighting with some pens, I've got a couple things done here, and I just wanna play around more with this. Um, so what I've written on here, um, the first thing is um, do the best you can when you can do it. And what that means is listen to your body, listen to what it's telling you. When it says, no, I can't do that today, you know what, that's okay, you don't have to do that today, right? So you just do the best you can. If, you know, the house isn't as clean as maybe your spouse would like it or your family, you know what? They can always help. There's there's nothing that says that they can't help you. Um, you know, maybe you have to start delegating some of the responsibilities to your family. And that's okay. That's that's what family is for. They're, they're there to, you know, help and support and take care of each other. Um, so, you know, sometimes you just have to do that. Another thing you can do is um, set yourself up a schedule. Um, you know, you don't have to do everything every Monday. Yeah, that gets monotonous, right? So, but if you know once a week that you're cleaning your bathrooms or um, once a week you're, you're able to, you know, get your sheets changed or whatever the case may be, even if it's dusting, maybe you like to dust, okay? Um, set yourself up a schedule. And it's okay, you can do it. You can set it up so that, you know, maybe you uh, do your dusting once a week. It's all good, you can do that, right? Um, another thing you need to do is, is if you find a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A task that is more difficult than it used to be, which if you're a chronic pain sufferer, that makes 90% of them that's okay what you need to do is you need to start looking at a different way to do that same task it might be um you know instead of using a mop bucket maybe it's use a spray wash um, instead of using like our rainbow vacuum cleaner i use a small bissel anything like that that will help you um use it you know take take your time to find out what works best for you and how you can get your tasks done for you, right? Does that make sense? I'm just having fun playing now. Now I just want to play. Um, so think about it, research it, see what your body does. I don't, I don't want to say research, that's not really. Trial and error. You know, if I find out that I, well, I want to vacuum three rooms today, well, guess what? Um, I'm hurting tomorrow big time. So maybe I can only vacuum one room. Which one needs it the most? Okay, maybe it's the living room. All right, so that's what I'm going to do today, right? So look for a different process on how to help yourself do these different tasks, all right? Um, another thing we just touched on real quick is ask for help. You know, I know I would love to have just somebody come in and clean the house once a week. I can't afford that. So instead, you know, we ask for help. My husband is fantastic. Yes, I do have that support. Um, some of you don't. I understand that. But I, you know, ask for help. All right. Um, and the biggest thing I think at this point is you have to learn to let the small stuff go. And that's what's written on these two tags. So you have to learn that, you know what, mm, I used to vacuum once a week the entire house the whole way through. It doesn't happen anymore. 
um, you have to learn to let it go. Same as you pick and choose your battles, you have to pick and choose what you can let go and what you just plain can't handle. You have to have it taken care of. Um, it's all part of the chronic pain process. It's all part of the learning. It's all part of acceptance. This is actually a huge part of acceptance. And I can remember when I was doing uh, pain management therapy and we were talking and this gentleman came in and he was like, I can't do anything. I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, if you start talking to people and realize, yes, you can. You can do this. You just have to learn a different way to do this. And it's the same with the housekeeping. I feel like this is missing something up here, but I'm not sure what. Give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, um, you know, we talked about housework and... Like I said, you know, there's certain things you can do to take care of your housework. And, you know, is it is it the way it used to be? Nope. Is it ever going to be the way it used to be? Nope. And you just have to learn to deal with it. That sounds awful, but it's the truth. Right? So, here's my little bucket of water. <laughs> I think it's funny looking. And I still think this needs something, but I don't know what. So, I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, and we've got this little pocket here. I just kind of decorated with some stencils and stuff. And I have my do the best you can do when you can do it and that's all you can do and then my tips so now listen don't forget um, to put a comment below on this video and like I said if you have a tip about something you do in your housework in a different way that you do it share it with us because there's so many people out there that are in the chronic pain um, whether it be physical or mental and we all have to deal with it on a daily basis so definitely throw some tips out there if you do something a little bit different maybe somebody else can take advantage of that would be wonderful um, when you put your comments in again the lovely lady that won the first one I did not hear from so I now have two of these books um, that are up for grabs and I will do a random um, drawing on the comments all right so if you guys have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them for you. And I hope this helped, even if just a little bit. That's my goal. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.